<laughs> Are you joining the video? Are you? Are you stealing the limelight? <laughs> oh, you are, aren't you? Okay, you'll pay them. Copy you. Okay. Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm There Goes Rose, and today I am doing a book haul of all the books I've bought recently. If my dog lets me, because she's feeling needy. Someone just knocked at the door, so um, she kicked off at them. So now she needs attention. You were asleep, weren't you, before? Come here. This is the first time I've done a book haul. Um, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm hoping to do more um, as I buy them. So maybe monthly, but I don't always have enough to show you every month. But I'm going to start doing monthly wrap ups and seasonal TBRs. So I'm quite excited for all of that. Um, so the next video, the bookish video I'll be doing will be an uh, autumn TBR. So if you're into TBRs and you love autumn like I do, uh, definitely come back for that. So the first book I've got is Legends and Lattes. I've actually read this book already. Um, I gave it four out of five stars. It's really cosy. It's about, um, a, I think it's a troll. I, it's a while ago, so I read it as soon as I got it. Um, but anyway, a troll who's escaping her adventurous life to set up a cosier life, uh, being more true to herself and setting up a coffee shop in this fantastical land and she meets some really lovely characters and this is the first of a series and I do want to read the second one because I did quite enjoy it. The next book is Louisa um, and this is by Carol Murrell um, and this is a graphic novel and the artwork's quite nice. I really like the uh, yellow tones which are and the different kind of tones that are there throughout this. Yeah, it's a really nice book. I'm just going to read the, this little bit here. So what would you do if your teenage self showed up at your door? What would that teenager think of who you've become? Um, and this is a time travel graphic novel. Um, we find out that pretty early, so it's not a giveaway. Um, where the, the younger self comes to the future um, to meet her future self. And they don't get on. Um, so it's quite an interesting book. I flew... I, I flew through this there we go I read it in one sit uh, one sitting god um and I think I gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars can't remember now it's either 3.5 or 4 um it wasn't the best graphic novel I've ever writ uh, read written not written any ever read um but I I would read more of this author <clears throat> the next one is another graphic novel um this is Garlic and the Vampire by Brie Paulson I love autumnal books. I love autumnal books. I've been wanting to buy this for ages and I always get nervous because graphic novels are always a little bit more than your standard fiction books. And that's because there's a lot of work gone into them, there's artwork, um, the printing costs more, etc. So it's all, I always feel it's more of a risk to buy a graphic novel. Um, so I always give it some thought in, in case I don't love it. I've been seeing amazing reviews of this. Um, I'm going to try, I've read this. Um, already not all of these I've read but the first few I have read or I'm reading at the moment um so this is a story about garlic who always feels like she's doing the wrong thing um she's really anxious but she's got a really good support network around her and her best friend is a carrot I know it sounds like I've been smoking something um it's very autumnal it's very cozy there are vampires and um, I love Dracula and if you're I'm from Derby and there's a lot going on around Dracula at the moment in terms of Dracula returns to Derby. So it was quite nice to have another vampire-y story. Um, five out of five stars. I ate this up with a cup of tea. Um, we'll definitely be taking more of a look at what Brie, Paul, Brie, uh, what Brie Paulson does. I should be able to say Brie because it's my favourite cheese. Um, but also an author. Um, yes, but love this story. And the next one I've got is There's No Such Thing as an Easy Job. Uh, and this is by Kiku Tsumara. This is translated from the Japanese. Um, and it's all about this woman who, and I'm reading this at the moment, I'm, I'm halfway through. And I'm enjoying it. I don't love it, but I'm going to finish it because I am enjoying it. It's just a bit of a slow read for me. Um, but it's about a woman that works walks into a job agency with wants an easy job. And I think we've all been there. <laughs> we just think I could just do with an easy job for a little bit. Um, and she gets some of these different jobs and all of the jobs turn out to be not quite what they're advertised and not quite as easy. Um, there's some fan, uh, fantasy elements in this. I describe this as fantasy realism, but very much set in the here and now. 
Um, there's some jobs, kind of some chapters that I really enjoy with jobs that I find really interesting, some that I'm finding a bit more boring, um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with this character and what she ends up doing in the end. But every chapter is her starting a new job. The next book I've got is You Again by Kate Goldberg. Not gonna lie, I chose this book because of the cover, because look at the fall vibes. Um, as you can tell, I love autumn. I'm a good scratch behind me. Um, so this is about Ari, a free-spirited, I've not read this one yet, a free-spirited struggling comedian and she meets Josh who is a chef ready to take on that kind of world of cookery and make something of themselves. So straight away I already love Josh because love food. Um, this is a story about two people that keep bumping into each other so like is it fate? Are they meant to be together? It's one of those going to be cosy, romantic, lovely warm hug of a book so I hope for autumn so yeah saving this one for autumn. The next book I got, I picked up from Conway. So I recently went to Conway with my friend Dee. Um, and I always try, whenever I go somewhere new, I always try and buy a book. It's nice to have a book that will remind me of that place. Um, and the book I chose uh, was from a little bookshop. I can't remember the name of the bookshop. If I, I, will, I will put the text here. Um, it's called The Secret Garden. You've probably heard of this. I've never read, I think, I think my mum read this to me when I was a kid but I've never read The Secret Garden um, and I thought this was such a lovely addition um, so I had to pick this up because it's gorgeous I love the gold uh, lettering as well um, so yeah I think I'm gonna save this one for autumn as well I, I think it could I think it's actually a summer read because The Secret Garden but the cover is giving me autumn vibes um, and it's nice that I got this from Conway which is a place I love um, and I got it for my friendy. The next book I've got is A Chain of Memories uh, by Beth Fender and this was a, a, a random find in my local charity shop. So I live in, uh, in the Peaks and I love this. So I was going to show you this, it's just fell out of the book. It's like jumping out. So it's um, because it's a second hand book and I love it when you find like treasures in second hand books. There's like a walk that goes with the book in my local area. So I think I might even turn this into another video where I go do this walk and read some of the poetry. Um, and there's a little map as well. 2 it was from my local charity shop. It's called Chain of Memories. It's poems and I think Beth is local to where I live. Um, so uh, it says in her early 60s, Beth joined Short her Shortland's Poetry Circle near Bromley in Kent. Um, and then she moved to Derbyshire where she was, she was keen to join a poetry group uh, only to find that Belper did not have one. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, for a job, I work for a book festival and we do a lot of work around local poetry. So it's also kind of a workish purchase as well. Um, but I'm going to read this before I give it um, to people at work. And do this walk, because I think that's so cute. The next book I've got is Thistlefoot by Gemma Rose Nethercott. So I read the, uh, what's it called? Um, the story of a house with legs or something like that. Or chick the house with chicken legs, something like that. I'll link the cover here for that one. And it's the first time I'd heard of uh, Baba Yaga. Um, and I really enjoyed learning about this mythical creature. So I've been looking for more books around the house with chicken legs. Um, because I just found it so whimsical and I wanted to find out more. So this is Thistlefoot, I haven't read it yet. Again, I think this will be another great um, story for uh, Autumn. So this is about the Yaga siblings, uh, Bellatine and Isaac, who are street performers and con artists. Already here for it. I also love uh, kind of, you know where books are like, they sit on uh, people that are kind of working on the street or they work for a circus or, um, I don't know, they're, they're thieves. I love that kind of, that story. I love like pirates and circus performers, to be honest. Um, but they learn they're going to receive an inheritance and they agree to meet only to discover that their uh, bequest isn't land or money, but something far stranger. It's a house with chicken legs. So they're inheriting the house with chicken legs. Um, that's as much as I want to know going into this book. I'm not going to read the rest of the blurb, but super excited for this. The next book I've got is I Went to See My Father by Kyung Suk Shin. Uh, this is translated by Anton Her. And this is from uh, translated from Korean. However, I didn't realise, here's the book, that uh, this is a, I think we're supposed to read a book before this one. Again, we'll put that here. Um, 
so I bought this thinking it was standalone. Um, yeah, people are recommending that you read the first book, so I'm going to have to pick that up first. Um, this has been on my TBR for a while, so it was about time that I bought it and I saw it on a, it was a little offer, so I was like, okay, today's the day. Um, this is about a character that loses his daughter and um, after losing her daughter, they return to a childhood home in the Korean countryside to look after their elderly father. And it's about that bond between you, that, that main character and their elderly father. And a chest of letters that is discovered. And um, we go on a little bit of a journey. I think this is going to be a little bit sad. I could cry, but I think it's also going to be heartwarming. And yeah, we'll get to the first book before I read that one. And the final book I've got to talk about is a book by Katya Balin, who's becoming one of my favourite authors. This is Birdsong. It's a children's book. A couple of years ago, I read October October, which is up there in my top kind of five favourite books of all time. So I'm slowly working through Katya's uh, back catalogue of books. Highly, highly recommend October if you haven't seen it. It's a young adult children's book, um, but it's set in the woods. It's about grief, um, but there's the descriptions of the woodland and the trees and the nature and also that bond between um, kind of what we have with our dads um, was really, really special. And <laughs> so I'm just getting distracted by the dog. <laughs> so funny. Um, the front door is like kind of behind this camera. Um, so she's keeping an eye out because, yeah, she protects me always, all the time. Anyway, birdsong. Um, there's a bit of tragedy in this as well, and I think Katya stories always have a bit of tragedy and a bit of grief kind of underlying them. So a car crash happens and our main character, Annie, is unable to play her flute anymore. Um, she retreats on the music she's always loved. I have a feeling this is going to be a story about how she finds her way back to flute playing and her music. Um, it's very short. Um, it's big because it's a children's book. Um, big text. <laughs> but there's lovely little illustrations in this. Um, I think this is going to be my next read, to be honest. And that was my first ever book haul on the channel. Um, I'm, yeah, next video I'm planning is uh, what I want to read in autumn. Autumn's my favourite time for reading. But let me know if you've read any of these books based on the books you've seen that I like. If you've got any recommendations, please comment. I love chatting to you in the comments. Um, and I'll see you uh, in the next video. Finally, sitting down. Now we're finishing.